Hi, you may or may not have come across Fiori apps before, but either way, I bet you didn't know how easy it is to use DVW Analytics software to extract data from those apps directly into Power BI. Give me a couple of minutes of your time and I'll show you how. What you see now is the Fiori homepage, which is standard to SAP HANA system. So I can choose a Fiori app that I'm interested in, so supplier invoice list say, and run that app within the console. Obviously I can filter as with other reports, um, here a company code in year, and I receive back my results. Now you can see if I look about this, then this app has a particular ID. And if I go across to the Fiori apps reference library, I can search for that. You can see there are thousands of apps here. So if I search for this particular one, I can then get the details about it. Behind the app is an OData service. And it's this that I use to connect to my data set from within Power BI. So let's see how this is done in Power BI. We get data and because I've got the DVW add-in, I have the option to connect to the DVW console. When I do that, I can see the connections I've already created. Alternatively, I can create a new connection to SAP. This jumps me across into the XCS console. This is where I choose the objects that I'm interested in, maybe a T code, a BW query, or an SAP table, and the SAP system where I want to get the data. In this case, it's going to be an OData service and obviously my s hana system. Now I can search for the OData service that sits under that Fiori app. Here it is, the supplier invoice. I select from the options and the system gives me the fields or columns which I can select from. And depending on the OData service, that can include text and master data. Alternatively, I can just bring all fields back. Additionally, I can filter on any of these fields adding values to control the data that is passed into Power BI. You can see I can select from a list that is being brought back from the SAP system. Once I'm happy, then I can preview exactly the data that's going to be passed across. And finally, I just need to give my connection a name so that I can call it from Power BI. Going back to Power BI, I can now find my connection and run it directly into the platform. We can preview the data just like any other data source and then load it for use in our analytics. Equally, we can move across to Power Query and there are M code functions specifically for DVW that enable us to embed our connection directly within the Power Query workflows. And even better, we can embed filters within our call to bring back exactly the data that we want from SAP so we can control dynamically the data brought back from SAP from within Power BI. I hope what you've seen has piqued your interest and if you'd like to see more, then please visit our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.